Hey everybody, I've got some new stuff to show you today and I will do um, tutorials if you'd like to see it. Um, once again, it's stormy and wet and cold, so everyone's in the house, so there'll be a few noises, so don't worry about it too much. Okay, this is a new idea I've come up with, come up with I should say. Probably many people have done it and it's been done before and it's, you know, done here and done there and someone's done it better, but this is my version. And um, first of all, if I talk about the thing, this is... Oh, God, this is so hard. This is the 2.5 inch punch that I use to make my trading coin so I can just open it. It's that heavy. So what I've done is I've made a 2.5 in, 2 inch trading coin back to onto a piece of round 2.5 card stock or a little bit bigger. And then I put it on a tag. Well, not actually not a tag, but a little book. And there you go. So, and then I've put paper underneath and that's backed onto a tea stained tag. And these little marks are just from the Tim Holtz pins. And then I've put a Tim Holtz pin up the top here. Um, but yeah, so um, I've done the front, you open it up, you've got a little book and then you put it together with that little Tim Holtz thing. And then you can slip them. Um, no, I don't even bother getting bother get my Marilyn Monroe book out. Um, here's another one. And this is the same onto the tea stained tag and then you open that it's a little book as well inside and that's the the uh, coin oh, I'm just gonna have to do it this way that's the coin um, as well this one onto to this backing another one the coin under here backed on and it's once again on the tea stain and it's got a little house inside of it that one so this is just an idea I come up with this morning. Um, this is all Tim Holtz, or this is Stamperia paper behind it. This one here's got some little pearls on some lace. Same again. They're all backed onto tea stain tags with a Tim Holtz pin up the top. And this little fella, and you open it up, and it's got words in it. So these can be put in journals. You can use them as tags. You can do virtually um, what you want with these ones. And then this is the final one, backed on. Um, a bit different inside. Um, and that's, yep, that's them. So there's those. Let's have a look. There's them. So that's just a different style. Now these, um, look at them. Oh, there's a whole pile of them. Hang on, let me. Oh, stupid paper. Um, I put these on Insta the other day and um, it's a, just a different idea. I'm just trying to find the tag pad. Um, ah, here it is. It's a Prima. I think it's a Prima. Yeah. It's a Prima Julie Nutting, I think, tag pad. So they've got different tag, but they're quite big. Um, let's have a look. They're 21 and a half centimetres long by nine centimeters wide. So I've done a pile of these. These are a different thing as well. These are something I've just done, learned, I've done myself. And I finally pinned my daughter down and got her onto the sewing machine and made her make them for me. She didn't actually make them, I put them together, she just sewed them. So they're just little books and I've got things attached to them. Um, I'll show you the first thing. It's a Tim Holtz card, a Tim Holtz um, flower. And this thing, my Renee sent me a pad of these cash-ins. That's got the date and so on. So, um, that's... Uh, now, how do I have that? Oh, yep, yeah, like that. Okay, got it. Yeah, so, um, these have got... Some of these have got my... There's a whole pile of them. They've got my own paintings. Not paintings. And, would you believe it? And I'm not saying it's all of them, but I'd say... <laughs> 60% of them I've put them on upside down so you know that's me and it's quirky that's what I'm saying that's my defense um, I realized when I put them all together today and I'd already stuck them down so you have a lady upside down with a gun she's supposed to be but then my vellum I've got a bus that's happy upside down <laughs> it's only the books that are upside down not the actual things in it so she's sewing them up the middle for me um, then I've got just bits and pieces all 
flowers, bits and pieces. Um, yeah, so what she's done is she signed them up the middle for me and uh, I'll show you some vellum lady upside down. <laughs> That's my handmade. And so I've glued or actually stuck the large last page of the actual book to the back of the tag. Okay, so that's your whole book and that's on the back. There's the back of the tag and so I've signed the last page. No, I haven't actually. She sews the book. I've stuck the last um, page to the back of the tag. So once again, these can be used in journals. They're quite large. And I'll just put this little clip on the side. Or they can be pulled off. So I'll show you in this one. My friend Renee sent this. This is, um, I don't know what it is, but it's, um, oh, um, I don't know. I'll have to come back to that. It's something she got. Um, it's from, I think, some ladies in South Africa or India that make yeah I don't know my mind's not good today so this is another one and this is the same that's just sewn on so we've got the front we've got pages book pages once again upside down pages but then again that wouldn't be me if it wasn't upside down got bits and pieces cooked in here the door uh, some of my paper, book paper, and bits and pieces here, cards, and so, and then I've stuck that to the tag. So these are a pretty nifty idea, but they can be pulled out. Now I showed you a while ago. Oh, I'm not sure I won't be able to find it now. Um, she made some of these a while ago, and you can rip them. Oh, there it is. I did some stamping on it. So these are the ones, virtually it's like this. So she's made, um, sewn up the middle. And these are the ones, so if you don't want to keep that as a little mini journal book, you can pull them apart. So you can take each, take each page out, um, pull them apart, clip them together, use them as tags, so they can all come apart. Um, so that's one good thing about them so you don't have to and then you can just use the tag or um, whatever you want to do with that so I'll just put that little clip here's another one seam binding that is here's the tag the back of the tag it's got a steampunk graphic 45 I think um, little girl and then on the back we've got tags and tickets and homemade paper. There's no rhyme or... Oh, is she upside down? No, she's the right way. My God. No rhyme or reason to them. They're just like me, eclectic. Yeah, look. She's up the right way. Hallelujah. Just bits and pieces of stuff. There's a skeleton in here. There's an aeroplane. And once again, the back's... Um, stuck in. Mm, that's Scott's phone. Um, so yeah, and you can use the seam binding so everything's um, usable. God, it's getting cold here. We had zero, minus two, I think, something last night. My fingers are just cramping and they won't work. It's so cold. So that's the back of the tag. Um, another steampunk by Graphic 45. And I think, oh, that one's up the right way. We're going well. Going well. Oh, there's plants and Tim Holtz plants and bushes and a little bit of Halloween uh, magazine paper. Woohoo, she's up the right way. A bit of wallpaper, my friend Renee sent, I think. And on here, ah, this one's got a little bag. And in this little bag, we've all got die cuts. That one's got a little bag because I could. I don't know why. It's up the right way. And once again, that's been glued on. So these are all different kinds. Of course, you can use the ribbons for anything. I like to try and make things so that you can use them for other um, purposes as well. It's the family. 
the same, tag on back, book page, vellum, my vellum, um, bits and pieces, yeah, look, and you got your gun, and he's upside down, never mind, we've got flowers, we've got um, crunchy paper, we've got a bit of a pumpkin happening, bits and pieces on here, bits and pieces of vellum and die cuts, yeah, they're all upside down. But you know what I'm like. It wouldn't be my book or an eclectic book if it wasn't upside down. I don't set out to do these things deliberately. <laughs> they just happen. <laughs> um, I love this colour. Okay, this is another one. There's the back. That's, oh, that's my paper. Have some teapots. My homemade, handmade um, ink paper. You've got um, journal cards. You've got paper. You've got some journal part paper in this one. Tea stained journal paper, newspaper. Uh, oh, you've got bits and pieces. Oh, this is another thing a friend Renee sent me. Permanent record for romance report card just a funny little thing that she sent a book of funny little bits and pieces she's good at sending stuff like that papers i've got some of this paper here tim holtz paper just bits and pieces so they're like my normal journals they're just funny and you can pull them apart and i don't charge that much for them because um just you can use them for different bits and they're just fun that's what I like about them and they're easy to make so if you want a tutorial let me know on any of them and I'll do it and I'll show you step by step how I do them um, here's another one on the back this lady oh hot air balloon this lady's up the right way we're going good on this one bits and pieces die cuts that's my paper vellum pretty paper look at this gorgeous little stamp here girl she's a little cutie look at this wow we've got upside we've got it the right way it's a 1960s book i think um, birthday paper more vellum paper and the car and i think there's some different die cuts in there and words and it's this one oh, on to a little paper Yep. Oops, that's come off. I'll put that back on. Yeah, so it's all different bits and pieces I've collected and I just put them in there for fun to write on and to um, pull apart, use in your journals, things are meant to be used. Oh, I'm not a hoarder, I must admit. I'm not a hoarder. I see something, I like it, I use it. So a lot of people I know like to hoard. So, yeah. So they'll all be going on to the Etsy shop. Um, and these little ones here so if you would like a tutorial um, just ask and I will do it so you can see how they're made okay thanks for watching bye